Sagittarius couples, welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. So it looks like you have a new offer coming your way. Um, this is the second time that I had to redo this reading, the second time that I'm, I'm doing this reading. So um, on the first reading, I saw Virgo, in, I mean the Hermit card in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I'm also seeing um, Cancer, Capricorn, Le Leo, um, Libra, and Taurus. I'm also seeing you, Sag. So you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. And it's really not uh, Pisces as well. And I'm not limiting any sign because I see all elements here except for swords. But the... Um, the Queen of Swords did come up on the previous spread, so uh, and so did Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini as well, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so it looks like someone wants some forward movement. Someone is either ready to make a literal move or ready to have some forward movement, forward momentum in a situation. This looks like it's a three-party situation. And what it also looks like to me is there is going to, there are going to be ties severed in this current relationship um because it looks like someone wants to give an ex a second chance and they want to bring that person in for being left out in the cold this person feels a strong soulmate connection um with with this partner uh, with with this person and um they're hoping to give this a try again and this not, this is not a karmic soulmate that we're talking about the person external from this relationship the ex this is an actual soulmate that this person is going back to. You know, this person is releasing themselves from the bonds of this toxic relationship. And they are wanting to um, also release themselves from this relationship that has um, become unstable. Because you may find in your current relationship that things are dissipating. They're falling apart. Someone um, has gone into uh, a state of despondence where they're kind of giving up on the relationship. You may have found that your partner is kind of withdrawing. They're a little bit MIA because they've kind of gone within to get answers. And so they're kind of, you know, slowly but surely making their exit from the relationship. This is leaving um, some of you feeling some type of mixed emotions. You're not quite sure where you stand. You're kind of feeling like you're going on this emotional roller coaster in this relationship. Um, but it looks like this person, you can see them as being maybe selfish or having selfish, self-seeking motives in this situation. And some of you do have someone going back or you will be going back to an ex to give it a second chance. Um, some of you could be looking at your partner as if they're unreliable and inconsistent um, because the situation has become a little um, topsy-turvy, you know, turned a bit upside down. And some of you feel taken for granted in this relationship. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. But the situation will ultimately come to an end. Transformations are taking place right now. There's definitely, I'm getting a lot of threes. So there's definitely a three party situation that's going on. That's going to, someone, someone is going to be left feeling heartbroken. Um, but it looks like there's a lot of heartbreak in every situation. Even the, the situation external from you with the ex, there's heartbreak there because it looks like someone wasn't able to make a decision about who they wanted to be within the past. And this has created a lot of static, a lot of heartbreak. And like I said, a lot of lying, cheating, sneaky behavior. Someone got caught in the act of um, being deceptive. Someone has been, been a bit covert in their movements. And it looks like someone has made a final decision about who they want to be with. So there are there is swords energy here. So you could be dealing literally with any sign. I am specifically seeing Aquarius as well. I did see Gemini in the previous spread. So it looks like someone's someone in your situation, this this current situation you're in, not the one external. Um, this person is kind of feeling uh, um, like their hope is kind of sliding away for this situation. It looks like the lines of communication will open up between you and this ex, though. You may receive some type of communication but via 
um, text message, via um, social media, via email. So it looks like some communication is coming your way. Where there were offers turned down in the past, I'm seeing that an offer is going to come up again. But one of you is not feeling very optimistic or very hopeful about things. Um, and maybe there was because some, some light was, sh was shed on a situation um, where there were some secrets in the past or where there wasn't some mental clarity. It looks like mental clarity has um, reached its peak, reached its peak and is now um, where everyone can see the truth in the situation. One of you may see the other as a lying manipulator because that is what the King of Cups represents. And um, this could also be someone who is maybe a bit um, overindulging in alcohol. Someone um, wants to wipe the slate clean with an X. And so they're hoping for that opportunity. Okay, Pisces again. Definitely there were some secrets that were revealed. Someone is not, one of you is not wanting to turn your back on this current situation. Looks like the partner is still kind of hanging on, hoping that there's a chance to reconcile this. But there is a bit of truthful information, a truthful message coming your way about, um, about the situation. It looks like some of you have spent some very sleepless nights um, and a lot of, you know, ruminating thoughts, worried over how it is that... Um, how it is that you can save this because I'm seeing that some of you are wanting to stand your ground and fight for this relationship. Um, for some of you, this could be your child's other parent that we're talking about that is an ex of yours. Or you had some type of a family situation possibly or some type of long-term commitment or a marriage. Some of you could be experiencing some type of mental conflict in this relationship or you could have found out that your partner was very promiscuous maybe some of you feel like again like I said before you feel like you have to compete for this relationship you don't want to lose your partner to this other party so some of you may be fighting to save this but I'm seeing that this ties will be severed um, in the situation as some of you could be dealing with a Gemini Sun Moon arising but in the past and a head over heart decision wasn't being made, but it looks like a final decision has been made. Some of you could be dealing with, <clears throat> excuse me, an Aries sun moon arising. Like I said, either your child's other parent or some type of fathery paternal type of figure that you could be dealing with as well. Some of you are tired of going in circles over an emotionally draining issue. It looks like something isn't being resolved. But some of you may be getting apologies from either the external partner, the ex, or the um, current partner. So apologies look like they are in order in this situation. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some of you are going to fight for this. You don't want to lose out on your partner, it looks like. Okay. Some of you are very intuitive right now as well. Um, so you could be... Um, you know, kind of anticipating this happening because your intuition could really be um, talking to you and speaking to you about this. So mental clarity is coming your way where the things were um, a bit cloudy in the past. The truth may come out or someone may decide to stop telling half-truths and tell you the entire situation, the entire truth about why they're being MIA and kind of skirting around the issues and not trying to resolve them. Um, and it looks like exiting this relationship is a bit a bit bittersweet. You know, I feel like the two of you may have had some good times and saying goodbye um, can be a bit difficult. But some of you are definitely feeling like you're settling in this relationship. You're feeling complacent. But I'm saying you're you're seeking guidance through prayer. You're looking for answers through prayer about what to do. But there is definitely a reunion in order for some of you if you decide to go that route. Because again, free will can change anything in this reading. Nothing is set in stone as far as a reading is concerned. So as I said before, um, I this is a redo of your of your previous spread. So I had already pulled an advice card for you. 
and I will represent that right now. And it says opportunity. And I will read to you um, directly from the book what the message says. Okay, opportunity. Positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. This opportunity may bring with it, bring with it inspiration and insight. Or it could be the chance you've been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. You may be seeking to manifest the chance to change, to create things in your career, buy or sell a home, or bring romance into your life. Whatever your desires, your angels are about to open up a door of possibilities for you. Step right through. Okay. So Sagittarius couples, I wish you the absolute best in whatever decision you decide to make. And I want to thank all of you for your loyalty and returning every week to um, view my videos. And for those of you who are brand new to my channel, I give you a warm welcome. Please know these are weekly videos and I will see you again next week, Sagittarius. Um, and if you are interested in booking a personal reading, you may do so by contacting me directly at my website, angelicascensionstarot.com or by email, angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Sag, I will see you again next week. Bye for now.